Even when I fall your hand You still dare hold my hand Lover of my soul there are several entries to the market as Yoruba people always say. Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. I am taking you guys along to one of the biggest markets in Ibadan, your state, Nigeria, which happens to be Bodijam Market. There are several ways to the market, but this particular area or part of the market is where I go for my bulk shopping. First off, I went to the rice department. This place, they sell rice in much quantity as much as several bags you would like to get so here we are sharing a bag into two so that is why you're seeing two sacks and after i was done with the rice part i went to this provision store i actually went to the market very late in the evening because you know your baby guy was just taking a time at home and yeah it's already late this was around 6 30 in the evening and people were already packing i was done at the market and i was waiting by the roadside see my legs very dirty and that of the mola or hausa guy that helped me with my load here i was waiting for my boat driver and i asked the mola guy to please wait for me hi guys so i just got to know quite long so let me just quickly show you all i got i already removed my herring and everything so yeah let me turn the camera to show you guys all i got so first off, I got this sugar half congo for 750 naira. I got this panla fish that I like, smoked panla fish. I got the 500 naira. I got this toro toro yam. <laughs> well, it's actually the most cutest of the one I found on the woman's stock. So I got this for one nine. I got this matches for 250 naira. There's actually one for 150, but I actually don't like that. The stick is usually not that strong. And yeah, I got this this small pepper for 600 and tomato 400, uh, bell pepper 200 naira. And I got this salt, Mr. Chef salt for 250 naira only. I got this titles for 500 naira each. This indomitable, table, I got it for. 4,200 naira each and then I got this 5 kg semo vita for 3,600 naira and I got this this for 4,400 naira a pack a pack of it which contains 20 it was sold for wow can you see can you guys see can you guys see what I'm seeing? <laughs> I think it's already open. So yeah, I got this half pack for 4,400 naira. A full pack which contains 20. It was sold for 8,800 naira. So I got half pack which is 10 pieces of spaghetti for 4,400 naira. I'll come back to pack this. And yeah, I got this for 850 naira. It's by 45 pieces, right? So I got two of it. I got this roll of tomato paste for 450 naira each. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Another thing I got was this potato. To be honest, I actually don't like to get this potato like in much quantity because it gets pulled like very fast so yeah i just had to get these small pieces for 500 naira and what else so i've been longing to get this lylon i make my moin moin with this lylon if i'm not making moin moin with leaves so i got two pieces 100 naira each i got this onions this is two or what we used to call Owo. Um, Owo is hand in English, right? Owo in Yoruba is hand. And one Owo is 40 pieces of um, onions. So I got two hands. That's two Owo. This is 80 pieces, right? I like to get my onions in bulk. It's really this season that onions can stay longer. So I usually get them in much quantity. So I have 80 pieces here. I got 40 pieces for 500 naira and 
another 40 pieces for 500 naira okay so i have 80 pieces here for 1000 naira last thing i got was this pack of rules um paper roll so this is six pieces in total. I got it for six hundred. Yeah, and they now sell one pieces for one fifty now. Last time I got it, I think I got it for one twenty. So yeah, I got it six hundred naira. So that means I got it in wholesale for hundred naira each. So another thing I got was this vegetable. This vegetable. I'm a fan of shock of vegetable. If you know that what that means. I don't like the green vegetable, so I prefer this shoko. So I got it. Let me show you guys. So I got this bunch for 200 and I told the woman to to sell three of these for me for 500 and she did. So I have three of these in here. So I have three of these here. So this is for 500 naira. So another thing I got is this 5 liter oil for 4,500 naira and I got this um, granite oil imported actually I got it for 5.5 five. I had the local one is 5,000 naira for 5 liters but the local one gets get to sleep I don't know how to put that like once the weather is cold like this the the local one is usually sleepy but this stay like this i don't know if you get my explanation so i just had to get this imported for 1500 yeah so these two you are saying is 10,000 yeah um, things don't cost though so what else is here okay this i initially took this alone because i felt they are going to ask me to pay for uh, the rubber so i had to take this along should in case i'm asked to pay for rubber I will just tell them to pour my oil here but yeah i wasn't asked to pay for um rubber so yeah then another thing i got was mango let me show you guys Ooh, i got this mango for 200 naira for five pieces is it five okay it's four okay okay i think there is one here I think one is five and another one is four pieces. So I got them for 400 naira. Yeah. This mango. I'm actually not a fan of mango, but my baby and his dad, they love mango. So I have to just get it for them. I'll just wash them and put them inside the fridge. So yeah, that's all I got. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this vlog. I actually was not able to hold my phone while in the market, you guys know. So you guys know our market can be this rough and I went alone with my baby at my back so it was kind of stressful to you know vlog with my phone. I just showed you guys a brief part of where um, they were measuring my rice. Oh let's I forgot I didn't show you my rice. Let me show you guys the rice I got. I got half bag. A bag was sold for 32,000 naira, so I got out for 16,000. Let me quickly show you guys before I end this vlog, okay? So here is the rice. This is half bag. I got it for 16,000 naira only. Hopefully this would um, sustain us. Family of three for a while. So yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this vlog so far. And lastly, I'll tell you guys, see procrastination they say is a thief of joy right let me share with you guys what happened to me um it happened that i had a series of videos on my phone i have like i think it was three or four different videos videos that i wanted to edit and i was just procrastinating it was just down on me i was just tired of editing editing can be stressful you guys please appreciate you bloggers appreciate youtubers it's actually a whole lot to you know film and then sit down to edit i usually like to edit like late in the night you know i have a baby and you know other ditches to catch up with so i just edit while on bed or in bed is that how they put it yeah i just edit randomly and yeah but yeah this time around i was procrastinating it was three or four videos i think and it was on a sunday night and i felt like okay let me just wait till monday 
which is the next day to edit the videos and voila the next day my phone was dead when i say dead it wasn't like the battery was flat it was dead like technically dead i had to rush out to uh, the car care center samsung car care center even though my phone was still um guaranteed it was meant to be guaranteed for 24 months and it was less than a year that this happened so i just had to take it there and they fixed it but it took like four days i took it on monday and i was called that it was ready on thursday and see people of god all my videos were gone everything on my phone were gone my phone was typically like a new phone it was so painful like <laughs> i just wanted to share with you guys this was the life of this was my life update not like it's a film i'm telling you guys <laughs> all my videos were done we were gone all my videos were gone and you know i'm just like why didn't i edit the video and you know put it up in private and publicize it whenever i want but yeah that's gone that's one of the things life put towards you and yeah I just want to tell you guys that please if there's anything that you want to do just do it like right away when your mind tells you to do something just do it right away you guys so this is my story this is my live update so yeah that was the reason i wasn't putting up videos the, my last video before this scale i uploaded a few days ago my last video was i think 10 days interval which is unusual so yeah i'm rambling a lot i'm tired let me just arrange this stuff and i'm not cooking this night not if eh? i can't even cook so yeah let me just end this vlog here i'll catch up with you guys in another vlog thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't and i'm going to be seeing you all in the next one bye